Hi, I'm Adam Kemp, and today we're learning about how to make a battery. In this clip, we're going to learn about how to make a battery out of an old-style film canister. To start, you're going to need about a half a film canister full of water, and this is going to act as half of our electrolyte we're going to be producing. Next, you're going to take your white vinegar that we obtained in the first clip, and you're going to fill up the film canister about 90% of the way full. And if you spill any, you've got those handy paper towels that we got in order to clean up your mess. Next, what you're going to do is take the cap of the film canister and place it on top of the, the newly filled canister and give it a little shake to make sure it's mixed up properly. After you've shaken your electrolyte, if you take your nail that's going to act as your cathode and poke a little hole in the top of the film canister, and that'll allow for you to insert allow for you to insert the copper wire necessary to make the anode. And then go ahead and poke another hole on the opposite side of the film canister and insert the galvanized steel nail into the film canister, and that's going to produce your cathode. Next, the tricky part, we're going to take the piece of copper wire and we're going to remove any oxidation using our steel wool. In doing so, we're going to produce a much more efficient, higher power battery. Then take your nice, uh, nice shiny copper wire and carefully wrap it around a pen. And what this is going to do is produce a coil of copper wire, which will increase the surface area that the copper comes in contact with the electrolyte. In doing this, having more copper inside of our electrolyte solution is going to increase the voltage and the current throughput in our film canister battery. Finally, you'll end up with a little spring-looking uh, piece of copper wire that's going to act as our anode. Go ahead and remove the top of our film canister. Carefully insert the copper wire into the top of the film canister. Make sure that the anode and the cathode do not touch. If they do, you won't get any current or there won't be any voltage flowing through. Attach the top. And if we go ahead and check the voltage coming out of our film canister battery, we will see that it's substantially higher than the potato battery and just a little bit higher than the battery made out of lemons. In this case, our electrolyte is made out of vinegar, which is acetic acid, and we're diluting it with water. In order to drive our LED, we're, again, we're going to need 1.5 volts. Um, in this case, we're getting 0.9 volts, so we're going to need another film canister battery. What we can do is go ahead and attach these film canister batteries in series attaching the cathode of one to the anode of the other, and measure the voltage coming out of our new battery. In this case, we're getting about 1.9 volts, which is more than adequate to power the LED. We attach our anode, <coughs> we attach our cathode lead, and then our anode lead, and connect them to our LED, we get a pretty substantial amount of illumination. This has been a demonstration on how to make a film canister battery. Coming up next is how to make a voltaic pile.